Um, and I, I'm going to be honest with you. The, the number one bad football that I see that is the most overhyped in the entire NFL is the Dallas Cowboys, bro. Uh, yeah, we man. had this conversation every single year. They, they're not good, bro, because I'm going to be honest with you. I don't think the Chargers are good. I think Justin Herbert's pretty good. But yeah, I just I look going at on there, bro. The, I say what's going on with every team in this league, bro. I swear there are two teams in the league right now that I look at and I'm like, yeah, that makes sense. And I get it right. Dallas is four and two. Dallas Cowboys fans are beating their chest. They're in love with it. Oh, my God. Dak Prescott is amazing. He got it. He's got, no, he's still the same, dude. He's the same dude that got beat 42 to 10 versus the Cowboys or versus the Niners. He's the same dude that's been up and down his entire career. He's the same dude that peaked his rookie year. Same dude. Dak, I don't, as people say Dak is Kirk Cousins. I don't think so. No, Dak, Dak is, is, uh, Dak is uh, Jared Goff. Dak is Jared Goff. Kirk is better. No. Kirk is better. Kirk, Kirk is, better. is better. No, no. Dak is Dak, Jared Goff Dak ain't, uh, right Jared before Goff the where? trade. Dar- Jared Goff was a good, was a good QB. Made the right moves. He just didn't show up in those big moments, and that's the difference between good and great. I think we've all established that. That's what Dak is. Dak is a good QB. He's not a great QB. He has. A, he's a good QB who has great moments. That's my take on him. And so with that being the case, he may be exactly what they need. Now, the funny thing is, I think it's just because it's the Cowboys. The narrative is so loud because the Cowboys are America's team. I don't know who dubbed them that. But I mean, the they're 90s. American scene, <laughs> Dallas. The 90s. You know, uh, it just is what it is. Uh, the dude said, uh, bear sign Colin Kaepernick, stop it. Uh, <laughs> stop it. If we did that, that'd be hilarious. No, I, I, I don't even know the dude. We signed a guy to our practice squad, basically, which means we're probably going to elevate Nathan Peterman. Um, and uh, yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I, th- th- there's there's no, oh, Zach Levine playing tonight. Uh, starting five for the Chicago Bulls. Kobe White, Zach Levine, DeMar DeRosa, Patrick Williams, Nikola Vucevic. I'm actually surprised by that. Um, I'm actually surprised. But yeah, like, I... It's Dak PK, is not... PK. <laughs> here's the thing about Dak. Dak is not bad. That's not great. But Dak is not good either. I can't say that. And and I think here's here's the reason for me why. When we look at Dak Prescott, Dak Prescott gets the same uh, 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 murder that Justin Fields gets for being a quarterback on the Chicago Bears. The opposite of that is Dak Prescott because think about every quarterback that has ever started in Dallas, even the ones that ended up being bad. Who was the backup dude that was in there for like two, three weeks and Dak couldn't, when Dak got hurt, you know what I mean? Like, Cooper Rush. Cooper Rush was a godsend. He was the net. Oh, my God. Here we go. This guy should be the starter. We don't even want Dak in there. Dak got back in. Never mind. Dak's back, baby. We love this guy. But, like, it's it's the same thing for every single quarterback there. They love this guy. you got to give me something, though, Pat. What is a good QB to you? Uh, we got to good- define good like, I think we know what great looks like. Great is this person shows up consistently and in the playoffs. Yep. What's good to you? Because you said he's not a good QB, and the threshold between good and mid is... A is, good QB competes in the big moments and doesn't always win them. That's a good QB. You're competitive in the big moments. You don't always win them, but you're competitive. You know what I mean? When's the last time Dak Prescott was competitive in the big moments? I mean, he has several game-winning drives throughout his career. I mean, yes, quite a few, actually. Game, y- y'all love this game-winning drives. That game-winning drive mean you down. <laughs> and a lot of those game-winning drives are because of Dak Prescott interceptions as well. But you could be down because your defense doesn't stop you. So, like, if it's a, if it's, if we're just going by, you know, you know, oh, I mean, I, I don't, I don't they, measure. I score, they score, I score, they score. Uh, they they the I score they score they get the ball back they get a field goal now I'm yeah. down I got to drive to win like yeah you know that doesn't mean I threw a pick uh, but he did though he threw 15 of them last year <laughs> and six of them legitimately were in his receivers <laughs> hands and tipped off 
I I told you I've said it many times. I'm first of all, I'm not a Dak Prescott fan. Like I don't I really again, I don't care. But Dak Prescott legitimately has tape where it's like, yo, that receiver had that in his hand. Why is it in the air again? But like, I think this, this is the he, thing. He got, they have butterfingers for real. This is, so I'm like, this yo. Is the, but this is the grace that everybody always gives Dak, and this is what irritates me about the Cowboys fans and what irritates me about the Cowboys franchise. It's always somebody else's fault with Dak. It was Amari Cooper's fault. What do we do? We get rid of Amari Cooper. It's always oh, it, it, uh, uh, it was Ezekiel Elliott's fault. He wasn't running hard enough. Now Ezekiel, okay, well now Ezekiel we ain't, ain't got good that. since he got paid. Hey, bro, <laughs> like, it, it, it's, it, yeah, it's no, that's a whole different thing. I mean, that's uh, it, it, It's different when it's thing, true though, dog. Hey, <laughs> hey and you are and you already know. Uh, you already know when he signed with the Patriots, it was like oh, you ain't never gonna see this football again, bro. Oh, you gonna never. get four carries a game, bro. <laughs> <Please>. <laughs> But it's all to me, it's always somebody else's fault. And they never like in every other scenario with every other team, we look at the quarterback and we put too much on them. We say everything is the quarterback's fault. Be like, it is heck, half of Justin Fields interceptions last year. We've been sitting there like, well, it got tipped off his head. Now it's a lot of bad ones too. But it's like it got tipped off of somebody, very much like the Dak conversation. You got tipped off his hands and went into somebody else's hands. Ah, you can't put it there though. You got to know he can't catch that ball. How I'm supposed to know he can't catch that ball. <laughs> you hey, know what hey, I mean? Hey, hey shots out just named two players who I actually have an affinity for. Matt Ryan was not a good QB, he was a great QB who just for some odd reason just cursed. Uh, Matt, so, Ryan, yeah. Matt, Ryan, Matt Ryan was Matt Ryan MVP, was, a, was dotting them up. Matt Ryan was a he wasn't no MVP. quarterback who was just cursed. <laughs> Matt Ryan wasn't the MVP. Matt Ryan does hey, have MVP. Matt Ryan don't have no MVP, do he? Yes, he does. Matt Ryan has an MVP. The year they went to the Super Bowl, he won it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, he was 2016 MVP. The year they went to the Super Bowl. Huh. That man had a one seventy. And Matt Ryan yeah. got the stats yeah, behind him. That's, that's a great quarterback. That's a, that's great, a great quarterback. quarterback. No sorry. cap. Matthew Stafford? Yeah, that's a great quarterback. Is a great quarterback. Yes. His career isn't he's fading into mid, yeah, right? yeah, yeah, yeah. but he's a great quarterback. Like he, he, he at one point was a great quarterback. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So I mean, like, I just, I, I think here's the thing though, even in, even in Detroit, with as bad as they were, Matt Stafford showed up. Rex is wild for that. <laughs> what happened? He just said, I need to find what black QB I like. Uh, CJ Stroud. How about that? <laughs> Patrick Mahomes. <laughs> but it, Here's the thing. I mean, if he hates on half the QBs in the league, they're mostly black now. Mostly. <laughs> There's not mostly a lot of white guys left. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I I I I really look at Dak and I say, like, I mean, in the playoffs. Outside of that one year when he was young, right? What was that? Second year in the league, he ends up having a big game and all of that. Outside of that, Dak has struggled in the playoffs. In the playoffs, I give you. In the playoffs, even I, I, even the big games that you think he's supposed to go out there and compete, right? Like last night, he complete competed with Justin Herbert. That was that was a. Uh, but let yeah, me ask man, you that something. was that was a weird game. Since when? Since, that was a weird since, game. Since someone pulled the color card on me, I've had this same smoke for Aaron Rodgers since he's only had one Super Bowl. Aaron Rodgers is the most accurate, most talented QB outside of Tom Brady. I've and, and Patrick Mahomes that I've ever seen. I don't care. Aaron Rodgers is is is, is if you want to say LeBron, Kobe, and, and, and MJ, Tom is MJ. Patrick is probably LeBron. Aaron, now Aaron need more rings for Kobe, but I'm gonna give him Kobe status. He's just too freaking talented, right? He don't be looking all that great in these playoffs, though. He don't. He be looking real mid in these playoffs sometimes. Jimmy G. Uh, yeah, Jimmy I G. Think, was. Comp- I think that's only really the last. That's only really that year versus San Fran. He looked mid. I mean, he looked pretty good. He looked pretty good in a lot of the playoff games. Uh, his team, on the other hand, I mean, nah, he like, literally he multiple times. It was like, well, how come Aaron ain't show up? I mean, listen, he literally didn't go to a second Super Bowl because uh, Brandon Bostic decided to try and. Uh, run up and field uh, uh onside kick when it wasn't his job to do it. And he fumbled. 
I, you know I mean, like, like, I got you 99.9% of the way there, and you effed it up on the last point one. That's on you. <laughs> there, There's two QBs who have one Super Bowl, one who, and they are both considered the most accurate QBs in the league, uh, in league history, Aaron Rodgers and Drew Brees. Drew Brees, to me, showed up majority of the time in the playoffs, and his defense failed him majority of the time in the playoffs. I stand <laughs> on that. versus the Bears. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Yeah, they, hey, but, but Rodgers? I'm sorry. Rodgers has some moments. I'm like, he got saved and he was in his prime. And I'm like, I don't know. I mm -hmm. So I say all that to say we give Dak a lot of credit for not having playoff success, but we have legendary QBs who have long stretches of not having good playoff success. Peyton Manning is another one. He was not. He didn't have a uh, good Peyton Manning playoff was, was whack all until he finally uh, went to the Super Bowl. Yeah, he, he didn't have a good playoff record uh, against a lot of people. Like, he didn't have great playoff success, and there was multiple reasons why, this, that, and the other. And, you, you know, you can't, you know, whoever you play yeah, first a, round. That's a, that's but like, like I think yeah, that's I, just I like overstated, though. Like, we, we killed Dak for stuff that even legendary QBs had struggled with, and he still has a very – like, he he's – He's in his twenties still. I think. I think here's the thing, though. I mean, maybe, maybe. Let me let me compare. How old is Dak? Hold on. Let me make sure. Dak Prescott is thirty right now. Oh, he's thirty. He's thirty. Yeah. But still, like the next five to seven years of his career could be totally different. Yeah. Like he's still relatively young at the QB position. Here's for us to be getting for him to be getting this level of hate when he's put up more yards. Like he has a career sixty-seven percent completion rate. Right. But I think here's the problem, right? Good. You you asked who's the who what makes a, a good QB. And I said to me it's it's showing up, it's being competitive in the moments. Okay. Um Aaron Rodgers over his career. I mean, outside of that last uh NFC divisional game where they should have beat the the San Francisco 49ers. I mean, he put up three touchdowns versus Tampa Bay. Mm-hmm. And, and one interception, uh, the series before that, he beats the Rams two touchdowns. Uh, series before that, he beats uh, San Francisco two touchdowns. Oh, no, he lost to San Francisco on that one. Uh, two touchdowns. That was in the NFC Championship the year before. Um, two touchdowns, three touchdowns, two, four, two, two. Uh, in, in all of that span, I mean, the total is, I don't know if it's going to give me the total. He's thrown 45 touchdowns to 13 interceptions. He's had the one year where it was like, oh, my God. And that's his playoffs. Um, Dak Prescott, on the other hand. 2016. 2016, he wasn't even in the in the uh, uh, playoffs in that one. But 2017, the NFC Division around, they lose to the Packers. He threw three touchdowns, one interception. Year after that, or two years after that, I should say. They didn't make the playoffs the next year. Two years after that, beats yeah, the 2016, Seahawks. 2017, he, they wasn't. 2018, he was there. He didn't. He didn't play in the playoffs in eighteen. In in nineteen, he played in the playoffs. In nineteen, he plays Dallas or he plays Seattle in the playoffs. Good game, two hundred twenty six yards, twenty two for thirty three. By the way, the completion percentage for Aaron Rodgers that I didn't even say it because it was mostly sixty seven percent, which is which is wild. This man was almost completing seventy percent of his passes. But outside of that, I mean, one touchdown, one pick. Uh, they end up losing to the Rams in the next round. One touchdown, one pick. Um, they lose to San Francisco the next year in the in the wild card round. One touchdown, one pick. Uh, they lose next year in the wild card round to Tom Brady. Uh, he actually played well in this game. This is the next game where he was elite. They lose it. No, they won this one. Four touchdowns, one pick. They did. This must have been before Brady. That must have been Winston. A one forty three QBR. <laughs> and then last year versus San Francisco, one pick or two picks. Yeah, you know I mean, so it's it's. To me, it's just showing up in those games and being that guy that's the elite guy. These games weren't blowouts. These games were, hey, Dak, if you give me one more touchdown, we win this game. Even, I'm not last year. No, San Francisco last year wasn't a blowout either. Right? I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. I remember me and you watching that mug. And just No, San Francisco last year won the block because they could have won it at the end and they didn't go for a Hail Mary. They went for that whack, whack uh, Ezekiel Elliott playing center, whatever the heck that was. <laughs> Dumb play calling. Like, ridiculous play calling. I would say this. He has a he has a postseason uh, rating of 92.3. Yeah. He's got a game where he had a 143 QBR. 
That helps a lot. Like, it does help a lot. <laughs> that helps, I'm that helps a heck of a lot. A lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's one of those Aaron, things I'm Aaron just Rogers like, has a one but I, I say out of, now listen Aaron Rodgers is one of the greats of the greats we're not comparing him back and forth but what, what my point is that for me to say good I just need you to show up a little bit and I think that's been the issue with Dak is the little bit more I need from you you never give me and that's why I say he's an okay quarterback I can't say he's a bad quarterback he's not a bad quarterback He's an okay quarterback. quarterback. He can put up the yards. He can put up the touchdowns. The interception ratio, you probably need to see go down. But to me, and it's not just Dak. I think here's the thing. With the Cowboys, if you stop two of them this year, if you stop two players on the Cowboys this year, you beat them. If you stop Dak Prescott, which we've talked about ad nauseum, isn't as hard as many think it is to do, they're beat. If you stop Michael Parsons, a lot harder to do. They're beat. They're beat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Defense shuts You're down. talking about two players. And so when people sit here and talk about, you know, the Dallas Cowboys are better than what they should be, they're better than what they've shown and all of this, I, I just I don't believe it because I've seen Dak Prescott get shut down repeatedly year mm-hmm. after year. Mm-hmm. I, now, I've only seen Michael Parsons one year in that playoff game. I don't believe he registered a sack in that playoff game versus San Francisco. That Granted, that's going up against the best defensive or offensive line in football, probably. Uh, second best offensive line in football. But that's probably who you're going to have to play if you're not winning enough games. <laughs> the, yeah. yeah. It, it's one of those things where I, I just find it funny that a lot of people who have mid QBs and I have to say it, we are we are a team that still evaluating our QB position we look at someone like Dak and he's like oh he sucks and it's like dog he can put on like half the league's jerseys and be the best QB they've ever seen if he just shows up the way he shows up for Dallas and, yeah, and so really just ours. I, I mean hey listen he if if he was to roll into the commanders he'd probably be one of the huh? hey, Kirk uh, <laughs> hey, 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 you saw me think about that too. And like, RG3 was a better quarterback than Dak is. RG3 was no. just dumb. Kept throwing that head in there. <laughs> no, RG3 was not a better quarterback. Than Dak. RG3 was a better quarterback than Dak is. They, they, me and you, hey, listen, me and you just genuinely just, hey, this is why this show works. Me and you just genuinely see the field differently, dog. I'm sorry. Nah, no, RG3 was cold. He was not better than Dak. Dak has more all purpose yards in one season than, uh, than, uh, his best than RG3's best season passing only passing only Dak nearly has a 5,000 yard season RG3 has 30 what 3,300 yards and another what 1,800 rushing that was his best season uh yeah that was 3,200 800 rushing see see I just said that off the top of my head hold on I, I know my stuff hold on 3,200 uh uh passing yards 16 rush 16 touchdowns 12 picks that year. That was bad. Uh, but rookie year, uh, 3,200, um, 20 touchdowns, five interceptions. And then the next year, after that, he was done. He only had two years. <laughs> yeah, nah, 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 nah. Dak, Dak, was, Dak was and is a better QB than RG3 was. That he that's that I stand on that one. I'm sorry. I, I, I don't do have that. a I don't have enough of a career for I know uh, that's why I can sit there and say that. <laughs> <laughs> it's like hey, he talked himself into that hole right there. I'm gonna sit there and let him have a career for RG3 to argue on what, what Dak was doing this rookie year. That man didn't do nothing. Yeah, hey, he did do nothing this rookie year. Hey, that man didn't not a damn thing. Hold on, let me see here. Let's see. Dak rookie year, <sighs> 3,600 yards, 23 touchdowns, four picks. All right. Thank All you. Right, I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. Hey, that's all right. You might have won that one, but guess what? Dak won't be winning anything. Hey, man, we appreciate you guys for tuning in to Showing Love. <laughs> Hit that like button. Subscribe to the page of Dutar Chicago Sports Daily on this channel. 